So viewers, we have a notable scientist and an eminent personality, Professor C. N. Rao Bharat Ratna with us. Uh, hello sir, thanks a lot for accepting Thank this you. interview sir. Sir, this, uh, there is a goal for India, like it should be the scientific superpower by 2020. What do you think are the factors would actually help uh, India to reach such target, if well, not by 2020? If we have to reach that, first of all, we have to improve the quality of our institutions, quality of our education, first of all. We must have institutions where we can do the kind of work which is competitive, which is as good as the best in the world. So that is one thing. It will require investment both of the government and from industry. Industry has to help us in this. Investment is properly done and with the proper support. There is nothing that should stop India in becoming the top three or top four or five countries in the world in science. I was just going through the Indian uh, scientific policy, the STA policy, which people talk about science, technology and innovation. Yes. All these three are three different uh, streams. Well, I mean, Integration is a big challenge. You see, science is actually fundamental to everything. It is only based on science you develop new technologies. There is a link, link between. They always putting them together mis is misleading. Innovation requires another kind of thing where your te science, technology efforts bring you something innovative, something that makes you profit, something that benefits society. There is a third thing altogether. They are all related to each other, each requiring a new, different type of effort. They are related only. These days, we've seen, unfortunately, in our India, only 10%, 10 to 12% of uh, you know educational institutions are focusing on the scientific research and everything, but rest all are basically the teaching most, objectives. Most, not even teaching. You see, most of them are below par, low quality, mediocre institutions. See, the outstanding institutions are very few. That is why some bright Indians, when they come back from abroad, for example, we do not have enough institutions to absorb them. So we have to increase the number of good institutions. One, two. In the meantime, upgrade our university, you know, make some of them good enough so that people want to work there. What exactly do you think are the challenges to improvise this research and development concept in India? Well, research, first of all, as I said, even in research and development, there are different types of uh, scientific effort. One is just to be in the front line, as good as the best. There is only one aspect of science we have to do. The other is solving national problems in water, energy, that we have to do a lot in that. The third variety is you must pick two, three areas where India will be the number one leader. I think we should therefore use our young children from rural part where they are still very excited. They are wonderful children. Our villages produce fantastic young children. That is where majority of the young people reside in India. And we should make use of them for the future of India. So, so rural resources play a key role in the development. I tell you the future of India is with the rural children. Absolutely. Thanks a lot, sir, for giving this opportunity to talk to you. So, the, so rural resources play a key role. That is uh, Bharat Ratna Siena Rao's uh, message to the youngsters of this country.